With the truce in Gaza holding, thousands of people have been trying to return to what's left of their lives. With many homes and businesses now gone, the task is easier for some than others. One shopper in this Gaza market said prices have become higher. Our shops and homes have been destroyed, our lives are now gone. I came here to buy some clothes for the children, only God knows our situation. We have nothing now. Life essentials such as water are also in short supply, sparking fears that the conflict may trigger a humanitarian crisis. I've seen humanitarian crisis and, and this isn't it. Um, but I think what we do have is we have some of the conditions that could lead us to one. And I think the biggest problem is, is the lack of water. We're doing okay in getting potable and non-potable water into our shelters, but it's a much broader problem for the, for the population in general. In Tel Aviv, life is returning to normal again too. Israeli troops are for now still in position along the border in case the conflict violently erupts again. We've been here for 30 days and uh, we plan to stay here so long as they need us until uh, everything's settled. Uh, I'm married, I have a family, but uh, that's what's important. So we'll do our job. Palestinians want an end to the Israeli blockade on Gaza and the release of prisoners. So far, Israel has resisted those demands.